Hey guys, I have a new script for you out on aescripts.com and it's called First Vertex Toolkit. This script was made during a project I was doing where I was using the Auto Trace Layer tool in After Effects a lot. First Vertex Toolkit lets you select the first vertex in a mask or a shape, which is useful for some effects. Let's jump into After Effects and I can show you how it works. All right, so here we are in After Effects. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the UI for our First Vertex Toolkit. So we're going to come into Window and open up the first Vertex Toolkit window. We get this nice resizable window here that you can dock anywhere you want if you want to. Or we can undock it and have it as a floating window. I'm going to keep mine as a floating window because I like it this way best. So let me walk you through what we got here. Our first little box here is the Options. And this defines how the tool is going to work which mode you want it to work in. There's three different modes that we're gonna walk through later. Randomized first vertex, reverse direction, and closest to point. And then we have our point layer, which works with the closest to point mode. And I'll explain that a little bit more uh, in the future. And here's tools. And tools are basically a set of functions that help you use the first vertex toolkit a little better. So we have some select buttons. We can select all the masks on the current layers, and then we can select all the shapes on the current layer. And those are useful only because First Vertex Toolkit works with the selection, and it, it saves you time if you don't have to go pick them all out yourself by hand. Then our third button here is toggle selected masks, shapes closed. So uh, a path can be open and a path can be closed, and um, this button helps you change that property of multiple things quickly. Then we have our help button. If you open that up, there's a description of uh, how each of these tools works in there. And then we have our do it button, which does what we have selected. So that is the UI for First Vertex Toolkit. All right, so I'm gonna walk you through how each of these modes works and in the process, show you how each of the the tools works. So let's go ahead and go to the window menu and open up First Vertex Toolkit. And we'll have it right here. And we'll put it off to the side where it's not in the way. Now just really quick, this comp I have set up here has a mask layer with all the masks on it that spell the word random. And that's got a stroke effect applied to it that's animated. So we have our random animating on. And then below it, we have a shape layer with the very same thing, the word random in the shape layer. We have each of those shapes and we have a stroke on each of those shapes and then we have a trim path that's animating the word random on. So let's get started. So we wanna animate them going in different directions than they are currently. Let's just say we don't like the way this is looking right now. So the way we would do that with the first vertex toolkit is we would highlight our shape layer here. We'd click our select all shapes on current layers button to select it all. And now those are selected, but it doesn't show them due to um, just a limited SDK. So we're gonna go ahead and double tap the S button on the keyboard, which is show selected. And it'll show you we have each of our shapes selected. Now in our mode, we want randomize first vertex because I would rather, I want to set a new random first vertex for this animation. And if we click do it, everything's going to jump around because our first vertex was just changed. And now we can see that our animation animates from a new point. And we can do that as many times as we'd like. We can select and deselect pieces we don't want our R to be randomized again, we can only select and randomize the rest of it. And that is useful. And I'd like to show you how that works on shape layer as well. So we'll hide our masks layer. We'll get our shape layer here and we'll do the same workflow again. So let me get that playhead to a spot where we can see the animation happening. We'll do select all masks on current layers here and we'll double tap S on the keyboard to show those. And we're going to hit randomize first vertex. Do it. And now we have a new random first vertex. Which is awesome when you're dealing with just lists and lists of paths. You don't really care where they start from, you just want it to be different. 
So that's the randomize mode. I'm gonna hide our shape layer and go back to our mask layer here. Now let's jump down to our reverse direction mode, which is pretty self-explanatory. It does exactly what it sounds like it does. It makes it animate in the opposite direction. So if we watch our R right now, it animates counterclockwise from that bottom left-hand corner right here. So if we click reverse direction on here, so first we're gonna select all the shapes on the current layer. I'm not gonna unfold it because you don't have to. I'm gonna click reverse direction. Now it animates clockwise and all the other shapes also reverse their directions. So pretty handy tool. If you just, uh, you want it to go the other way and you don't feel like digging through all your layers, you just keep this bad boy open right here and reverse the directions. So they reverse back and forth. And it works the same with the shape layers. So let's jump in here and select all the shapes on the current layer. Let's reverse that direction. Oops, apparently I didn't select them. Select all masks on the current layer. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Beautiful, beautiful animation. All right. So our final mode is one that I'm particularly proud of, the closest to point mode. So for the closest to point mode, it sets our first vertex to the point that's closest to a specified point in your, in your comp. So it's easier if I just show you. I'm gonna make a new null to be our point. That's gonna be uh, our reference here. Let's say I want all the vertexes, the first vertexes to be as far to the bottom left as they can be. So I'm gonna set our point down as far to the bottom left as possible. I'm gonna select our mask layer here. And I'm gonna change this to closest to point mode. And I'm gonna, our point layer that we wanna reference will be our null. That's where it's gonna take the point from. We're gonna click select all masks on the current layers. And we're gonna click do it. Now every mask is going to animate from the closest point that it can to that null, which is super awesome. So right now they're all starting as close as possible. We'll just take our null here and let's move it up to the top right. And let's run the operation again. Oops, got to select all the masks. And there we go. We have it all running from the top right now, which is useful if we don't want so random of an animation. It makes it very uniform and easier to read. And this works the exact same for our shape layer here. So let's make it all point towards the top right and we'll select all shapes on the current layer. Tell it to do it. And there we go as close as it can to that top right corner. So that is the closest to point mode. And that is basically first vertex toolkit in a nutshell. So I hope you enjoyed this demonstration and I hope you enjoyed the tool.